guys, it's manager Kylie and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to fill out a beach volleyball score sheet. So today I'm going to go through the NCAA beach volleyball score sheet. This is very similar to many other beach volleyball score sheets that you may use in your league. I'm going to go through the details on how to fill it out, some important information to know about it, and anything else related to beach volleyball that might be important. I do already have a video on my channel about the rules of beach volleyball as many, well as many other volleyball score sheets. So if there's a certain um, type of volleyball score sheet you're looking for, I may have a video on that. So definitely check out some of the videos I'll have linked both in the iCard and at the end to try to find more information on different pieces of volleyball, both scoring, rules, and other information that you may wanna know. And if you have any questions about volleyball, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration content just like this, definitely subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload as I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And we're gonna dive into the score sheet. So this is what the volleyball score sheet looks like. It's actually two pages. Um, you have the first two sets and some of the basic information. Um, this is nice and easy if it only goes to two sets, um, but you do have a second page if it does go to a third deciding set, as well as if there's any um, details you need to mark, if any of the coaches or anything get some sort of um, card or sanction in any way, you're able to mark those on that second page. So most of our focus is going to be on this first page um, so some of the first things you're going to focus on um, is, so the site is wherever you're going to be playing. Um, I'm just going to put beach because we don't have a specific place. Um, this depends on the type of match it is, whether it's a dual match or whether you're just playing pairs. Um, so a dual match would be generally like five sets of teams um, and it's two schools playing against each other. Um, so you'd be able to put over here if this was a certain match or flight number. We're going to leave that blank for now because we don't have any specific information um, for this. Male or female, we'll just say it's female. Age, um, so this is if it's some sort of tournament. This is specifically NCAA's. This is specifically the NCAA score sheet, but could be used for other things as well. So if for some reason this was younger kids, you could put an age. Um, whatever the date is, um, we'll just say it's five. I don't even know what today's date is. Five ten. Um, and then we'll just say twenty two. Uh, schedule time. So this is whatever time it was supposed to sch schedule. You usually do this on a twenty four hours. Um, so if it was 8 p.m., um, you would do it like it was military time. Um, so 8 p.m. would be 20. Um, so things along that lines, you would put a time that way. So we're going to just say it's for 10 a.m. And then the court number, if you have different courts, we'll say it's court number four. I'm going to do some of this bottom information first, and then we'll go into each one of the sets. I'm only going to score one set. Um, just so you can kind of see the details of how one set would work. It's the exact same thing for the second set. And I will explain a deciding set because that's slightly differently. Um, so you're going to put over here um, the school's names. So once the coin flip happens, um, you're going to figure out who's team A or B. We'll just say this one's A, this one's B. Um, the, one team's going to choose sir, one team's going to choose sides, things along that lines. Um, so that's where you'd mark this, whether they chose serve or receive. Um, so we'll just say serve, receive, and it's going to repeat across. You're going to put in the players' names. So we're just going to put in random names for each team. And then you would have your first server. So we got, we'll say Kim's the first server for this team, Abby's the first server for this team. And then uniform numbers, we'll just put in whatever uniform numbers they have. Uh, this middle section you'll worry about when the match is going on and like in between each set. Your referee, you're going to have um, all these people different sign it. So your first ref is going to come and sign it. You as the scorer are going to sign it. Your Team captains are going to both come and sign it to make sure all the information looks correct. And then this bottom section is specifically um, once the game's finished. And then finally, you would initial it after the game's over. So for the whole match, you play best two out of three. We're going to focus up on this one top section for set number one. So the first thing you're going to do is put in um, their service information. So you're going to put the players' names. So this is going to be... Um, We'll just call this the blue school and the red school. 
So this is team blue. It's Kim and Karen. This is number 44 and 22. And then for over here, you're going to put Abby and Liz, 14 and 11. So one thing that's important to understand, so this little middle section is for some reason there's any sort of misconduct, penalty, anything like that, you would put the score right there. Um, this section right here, this is team A and team B. You would put it, there's timeouts of any kind. So when they call their timeout, you would mark that right there. Each team has one timeout. These numbers across the bottom are your running score. So as they score, you're marking it there. This middle section right here is kind of where you keep track of running serve and service order. This is to keep track of the how long the set is, so start time, end time, duration. They do switch at multiples of seven in the first two sets and multiples of five in a third deciding set because the third deciding set only goes to 14 versus 21, um, and it is win by two. So every time it goes to a multiple of seven, I'll show you this, you have to mark whatever the score is because that's when they're switching sides. So to start off, we're going to... Kim has first serve because she's server number one. Once she serves the ball, you're going to put a cross over that little number one to know she did her first serve. And then the game's going to be played out. You're going to have multiple points played out. We're going to say they got two points. So you're going to mark off two points. And then we'll say the other team won the thing. So once the other team wins the points, you're going to put their current total score. So at that point, it is two. Your next server is going to be Abby because she's the number two. You can even see right here, it goes one, two, three, four. It shows you right here who's serving in what order. So once Abby serves, you're going to cross it off. Say they serve three points, one, two, three. You're going to mark that right there. Then it's going to be Karen serve. So Karen serves the ball. You get mark off that one. Say they serve another two points but the, they still win the points so they win the next two points so they win three and four well we're now at a multiple of seven so what we're going to do is over here on this side we're going to mark because they're switching sides so team a is currently at four points team b is currently at three points and then the game's going to continue and we'll say they score one more point so now the total score is five so once the total score gets to five um, you're now going to have Liz score and it just goes back and forth. So Liz scores does that. Let's say they only get one point off of that before it switches. You would just mark this and then it now becomes four. So that means all Liz had to do on that one was serve and then they lost the rally. Remember, they get a point every time uh, they win the serve because it's rally scoring. So now that they lost a point, this really puts their team at six then Kim is going to serve her second time let's say they win a couple rallies to get them to seven eight and then they lose it then you switch back and forth so it just goes back and forth like this so now we are at a total of 12 points and you just want to keep track of the different multiples it does have right here seven fourteen, so you know all the multiples um, of this so that you can keep track of it and so now that we're at um, 12 different points. This team is going to get the point. You got now they're at five. Abby's going to serve. Let's say they win the next point to put them at six, but Abby's still serving. You're now going to put it over here. Team A, team A has eight, and then team B has six. So you're multiple of 14. And then the game is going to continue like that until you get to 21. So I'm just going to go in and we'll say they got to seven. So which puts them at nine. Um, say they rallied off a couple, got to 11. Then we put them here, nine, 10. So now we're at 21 and it's now 11 to 10. One important thing is at 21, um, you generally get some sort of TV timeout. Um, so just be aware of that stoppage um, when there's total points is at 21. Um, and then we're gonna continue. We'll say they rallied off a bunch of points to get to 12. Um, and then they got a couple to get to 14. Obviously, this would be played out. Um, I'm just marking it so that you can see what it would kind of look like um, as they go. So once we get to here, um, this is set point for team B. Um, so the team with Abby and Liz, it is set point because they're now at 20. They just got that 20th point. Um, and if they serve 
and win the point. They'll get their 21. So we're going to say they did serve, get the point. They're going to win with 21. Um, so you, you figure it out from here. If You're not going to always use all of these depending on the score on the side. Um, we're currently at only uh, 40 total points. So you don't always get to the, all of these on the side. It is one by two. They won by two because they had 19. And that set is over. So what you're going to do is now go to the bottom. You're going to mark off which team got how many points. So you're going to say they got 19, they got 21, and you would be marking time and duration as this doesn't have a specific start time. I'm not marking this, but you would say, say it actually started at 10 a.m. and went to 10.30. You would just say, okay, that set took 30 minutes. And you would mark that right here. Go through, play till you get to the end, and then the winning team, we're going to say um, for this one is red, and then it's Abby and Liz. So you would mark that, and then you would initial on the corner. One important thing for this back sheet, so this is your third set. Um, it's a little bit shorter because you're only going to 14 points um, generally, so you switch every five. Um, so when you switch sides at every five, that's when you'd be marking it. It's a li little easier to actually remember that. Multiples of five, um, that's when you're going to be switching sides and you're going to mark that. If for some reason any coach was to get any sort of penalty or warning, you would put the coach's name here. Um, if it's team A or B or if it's an assistant coach, you would circle whatever set number it was. And then you would put the current score um, on there just so you have a note of it. And you can even put notes down here if for some reason you have to mark anything off. But this is just kind of the basics on how to run a beach volleyball score sheet. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video or how to fill anything out in more detail, definitely let me know. I hope you guys enjoy playing beach volleyball. It's a super fun sport to both play with your friends and play competitively. And if there's any other sports you want to learn more about, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs>